Well, the red hot IPO market continues for Chinese tech stocks. Mobile security company NetGen just went public today. Julie Hyman is standing by in the newsroom with NetGen CEO Henry Lin. Congratulations, Henry. Julie, good to see you. Thanks. Indeed, uh, starting trading today, and obviously we've had a hot Chinese IPO market recently. Um, talk to me about what you're going to use the proceeds from the IPO for. I think first of all, we will enhance our service portfolio, so we'll invest more in our product and R&D. The second, I think we'll put more money in sales and marketing, especially we expand it to more uh, developed countries such as U.S. and Japan. You know, I've been watching the shares today, and obviously we had a big Chinese IPO yesterday as well in Ren Ren. Those shares are falling, and you guys are also falling in your first day of trading. Are you concerned at all that, that there's a little bit of overhype or a little bit of bubble when it comes to Chinese tech companies? I think uh, it's case, case by case. Uh, I think Chinese is uh, uh, one of the most uh, fast developing countries in the world, so more and more uh, innovative direct uh, technology companies from China will be a great co company just like Neptune. So it depends on case by case. Are, are you concerned that the shares are, are down so sharply in the first day? Uh, I think we uh, didn't care about the short term price but we um, care about the long term business and long term company value. So talk to me about the long-term business. We were just talking during the break, and you said that about 35% of your customers and your revenue is overseas, outside of China. Um, what do you want to get that percentage to? Do you plan on expanding more aggressively outside of China? Uh, of course. Uh, we believe uh, overseas uh, market will be more and more important for NetChain because the smartphone market goes very rapidly. Um, just like uh, last year, 270 uh, million smartphone users were shifted, and this year more than 500 million new smartphone devices. So it's a very huge opportunity for NetChain to catch up su such a uh, fast-growing opportunity. Now, um, your customers are the users themselves who purchase the security software. Um, do you plan, have you targeted yet uh, users in the U.S., and, and how do you plan to do that? Actually, we have set up new office in Silicon Valley, and there has been millions of uh, users from U.S. They download uh, and try NetChain's framing or service. We provide basic service free and uh, attract more uh, pro members uh, using premium premium service now I know you said obviously um, every Chinese tech company every IPO is a case-by-case -case basis but speaking broadly here how concerned are you about some of the allegations of fraud or accounting irregularities at, at some of the companies and and how that affects the group uh, the group's reputation maybe uh, the problems come from the OTC companies I, I believe uh, from IPO company uh, I think no problem for example, we use the PwC as a counter. I think the, the most uh, famous uh, counter in the world. So you're not concerned about, obviously, your uh, accounting and, and about the general tech industry in, in China as a whole? Uh, I think it depends on the company and depends on the counter. Okay. Yeah. Dr. Henlin, thank you so much for joining us. And again, congratulations on the public offering of NetChin. Thanks for thank coming you. in. Thank you.